How did this virus, how did Stuxnet actually become introduced into the Iranian computers? Okay, so the, the best theory that we have, and certainly it's only theory, but it's backed by, some, by, by good evidence, is that the, uh, the initial in infection might have been via USB thumb drives. And what you really would, would do is when you want to attack a highly protected target, like a nuclear installation that is, or a military installation that is not connected to the internet, you just make sure that you infect a system which is at some point in time physically moved to your real target. And if you want to do that um, uh, in, in the scenario of attacking an industrial installation, guess what? It's actually quite easy because all of these installations are maintained by companies, by contractors, uh, where um, the, the engineers actually walk in and out to the facility carrying their laptop computers, which they need to configure the systems. So uh, this is, in a way, uh, Cyber Attacker 101 stuff. Uh, if you want to attack a highly protected facility, just attack one of the contractors. Uh, which are easy targets. Because they'll targets. bring their computers into the plants, they'll log onto the system, exactly. and the virus spreads. Exactly, and this is one of the most important lessons that we have learned in the aftermath of Stuxnet, is that your mobile computers are high priority, uh, high security items. So you really have to make sure that these are protected properly.